Kate, Prince William, Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, put on a united front this week at COP26, where they attended a series of engagements focused on their environmental projects and work. And they were particularly careful to choose eco-friendly means of transports from and to Glasgow, where the Climate Change Summit is underway. However, Royal commentator Camilla Tomini warned they must keep up with green choices if they want to remain credible in their pleas to save the earth from rising temperatures and pollution. In particular, the royals ought to find an alternative to the use of the incredibly polluting private jets, she said. Writing in the Telegraph's weekly royal newsletter Your Royal Appointment, Ms Tomini said. While both the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge delivered hard-hitting speeches that were well received, they must also now put their words into action by completely dispensing with this hypocritical form of travel from Herion Inn. To be fair, William and Kate should be commended for taking the train to Scotland on this occasion, while Charles apparently flew from Rome to Glasgow on an RAF flight running on sustainable aviation fuel. But if they are to remain credible voices on this totemic issue, they must continue to travel sustainably rather than going back to their previous jet-set lifestyle. In the past, the royal family explained the choice to travel via private jet by mentioning security and timing issues. Several attendees at COP26 have been criticized for flying into the climate change summit using private jets. According to Matt Finch, of the Transport and Environment Campaign Group, the average private jet emits two tons of CO2 for every hour it flies. In comparison, an ordinary citizen consumes around eight tons of CO2 a year. He told the Daily Record, it can't be stressed enough how bad private jets are for the environment, it is the worst way to travel by miles. Our research has found that most journeys could easily be completed on scheduled flights. Private jets are very prestigious but it is difficult to avoid the hypocrisy of using one while claiming to be fighting climate change. To put it in context, the total carbon footprint of an ordinary citizen, including everywhere they travel and everything they consume, is around 8 tons a year. So an executive or politician taking one long-haul private flight will burn more CO2 than several normal people do in a year.